This is a simple tutorial on installing and using an extension in our uh, SketchUp and that extension is called Cutlist. And so what we have here, I've, I've opened up my first year woodworking project. I believe that almost everybody in class should be at this point. I've gone through and I've expect, in, inspected my titles to make sure that they're labeled correctly. I've made sure that they're a component and I've checked my volume to make sure all my pieces are good. If you do not have all of those things done, please stop the video right now, pause it, and go back and check those. Make sure that your work is good. If you are good on all those things, we'll continue. And so it's real simple here. Um, first thing we're going to do is we're going to log in to um, basically SketchUp, and we're going to use our Bertrand email addresses. So right down here in the bottom left, there's this kind of silhouette of a person. If we click there, it's going to bring in this uh, sign-in menu here. We don't want to use Trimble stuff or anything like that. We want to sign in with Google. So we go there. Um, you guys may have to actually type your stuff in. Mine's already kind of saved, so I'm just going to type in or uh, sign in with my Birch Run Schools email address. So I click in there, and it's going to sign me in. And when you're signed in, that little silhouette just becomes uh, kind of bold, like a dark black there. So I'm now signed in, um, and the next thing we want to do is we click on Window, and we are going to go to the Extension Warehouse. And when we click on that, a little window pops up. Once we get here, we are going to search for Cutlist, all one word, C-U-T-L-I-S-T, -T, and hit Enter. It should be one of the, it's the very top return right here, Cutlist by Steve R., so we click on that, and then yours may have some different options. It may say download, it may just say install, but we want to install it. When you click this, it may ask you to sign in again. Just sign in with your Birch Run School stuff, but then another prompt will come up. Yes, I want to install it. Do you want to install this extension? Yes, I do. Okay, it has been successfully installed and is now available, so I hit OK. And this window, we're going to close out of that. And you should have this option pop up, extensions. And I click on it, and I should have cut list pop up. I have another extension that you don't need to worry about. But th if this tab did not show up, we need to repeat that process. Go back into window, go back into extension warehouse, and then install it again until this tab pops up, and we can run this. So now that's how we install an extension. How do we actually use it? We're going to highlight all that we want to have run. And in this case, I've got my five parts. I go back up to extensions with it highlighted. Click on cut list. And then you're going to have this extension start running. Okay, so really, when you go into, there's a bunch of different ways that you can set things up. The only things that I would recommend is to click on layout. And let's check six fourths. Okay, let's select four inches, and then let's select the one for 12 feet. And the reason I'm doing that is because that's the size boards that we're going to be using. We don't need to worry about sheets, that's for plywood. So once I have those settings all set, six fourths, four inches, and 12 feet, then I'm going to hit run. And the first thing that will pop up is what we call a cut diagram, a cut plan. So you can see that this would be my board, and then this is the pieces that need to come out of that board, okay? And you can close that or print it. That's up to you if you want that. That's not our concern right now. This is what we want right here, okay? So part description, excuse me, quantity right here is part number. Quantity is right here. Description is the title, so you should have A, B, C, D, and E, five pieces. Our length should match this exactly. All these numbers, our width, everything should be three inches, and our thickness, everything should be inch and a quarter. As far as board footage goes and things like that, that's all for um, calculating cost and things like that. On a project like this, we don't need to worry about calculating cost. We're paying for it for you. So this is really all we want. If you ever feel like you need to edit it, you can copy it and put it in an Excel document. For us, we're just going to go ahead and print this cut list. So I, I click Print Cut List. And another window should pop up here briefly. 
So here we go. You want to select BRHS Lab 303. That's this room. I only want uh, one copy. It should be on one page. And then I go ahead and hit print. And that's going to send it to the printer in the front of the room. And now you have your cut list that we will actually take into the shop with us in order to uh, start creating our project.